What's good, Black Star Podcast? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Jared. Y'all, Kendra G, he is the, the, I got the channel that keeps on giving. Today, we're going to review a woman that's requiring a man that makes $100,000. So, let's see what the hell she offering other than some used up to punani. So, let's get it. Is your book there? somebody over there? Hello? <laughs> Hi. Hi. Are you ready? Yeah. Oh, you're a different girl. What's your name, honey? Marie. Marie. Where are you calling us from? Miami. Miami. Okay. Marie, Miami. Already. Hell no. Fucking Miami? Nah, this bitch gonna come with. Yeah, now, now we know why. She want a man making $100,000. This bitch in the damn capital of delusion. Where down there with fresh and fit in them are. So uh yeah, let's see what she offering. Hey Emery. Do you, I mean this light's not bad. Let me try this. Let me see. Oh uh, it's not bad light. You could probably do a better light. I mean I could work with this. Um okay. Is okay. This, this is better for you. All right. Your name is Marie. Yeah. Marie, where are you calling us from? Miami. Miami. How old are you? Twenty-four. Twenty-four. Oh, Twenty-four. What you do for a living? Real estate. Real estate. Do you have any children? Why is it that they always say I'm in real estate? I mean. Real estate nowadays, especially in Miami, I don't know. Maybe I'm a little bit, maybe I'm a little bit of a one of a person that's that's like, yeah, ain't gonna do too good in the market. But I mean, she's cute. I mean, she ain't, she ain't like that. But goddamn, real estate, y'all. I, I don't get it. Real estate is the only thing they can get into. None of them ever say they're scientists. None of them say they're they're engineers. None of them say any of this stuff. I mean, shit. If I can find a woman that's a scientist, boy, I'm gonna tell you this right now. If I can find a woman that's a scientist that can bring out that technological mind I have, boy, mm, she she can she can she can get it all. I don't give a damn. She can get all of it. But boy, airhead. No, I do not. No kids. What's your zodiac sign? I'm a Capricorn. Okay. And so we got Marie, Miami, 24, Capricorn, real estate, no kids. What kind of man you looking for, girl? Um, I'm looking for a man that's like considerate of my feelings and I'm looking for a successful man, of course, um, an emotional, intelligent man. And that's, that's really it. I'm so what is emotional intelligence? All of you women that are asking for a man that's emotionally intelligent. What does that mean? Y'all ask for emotional intelligence. Y'all can't describe it. But y'all are the least emotionally intelligent women out there. Y'all don't even consider what a man really goes through on a daily basis. So on the average, a lot of you can't even ask for an emotionally intelligent man because a lot of you are not emotionally intelligent. Let's continue. I'm a simple girl. Okay. Simple? No. A problem? Maybe. Um, what about deal breakers? What are your deal breakers? Um, children. Okay. I'm sorry. No man with kids? No. Okay. No kids. Um, should he look a certain way? Um, no, not particularly. No, I'm, I'm like more of a personality type of girl, so. Okay. What about money? Should he make a certain amount of money? 
Um, I would say yes. Mm -hmm. You're a personality type of girl, but yet you require him to make a certain amount of money. Meaning you will overlook that man's money. I mean, overlook that man's personality if he has what you're looking for as far as money-wise. Yeah, okay. Mm, definitely. Okay. Okay, what is the minimum? Mm, minimum of 100000 That's the minimum? Yeah. Okay, you live in Miami. Do you date men that typically make hundred k? Of course. So what's going on with those guys? Um, I'm not really getting a lot of emotional intelligence. It's lacking, you know. Because you're basing somebody's, somebody, your interest off of somebody's money. That's the problem that you're having. Y'all can't seem to get that through your head. If you get a guy that's making $100,000, he might not be the guy that you're exactly looking for. Y'all always put money over personality. You put money over the real stuff that you need to be worrying about. As long as he has $100,000, I'm going to overlook the rest of them. Then you come to Kendra G show over here complaining about the man not having emotional intelligence when, in fact, you pick the man based upon his finances. That is the main issue that a lot of you women have, especially when it comes to men. And um, I find that very important for me and some things that I've been through in my life. So it's just not really been working out. And we just kind of, you know, go our separate ways. Okay. So, you know, you date find men and that's what I'm trying to do. So if my husband's out here, just please see me. Okay, we like your dimples. <laughs> Thank you. With these men, are they relationships or situationships? Uh, relationships. I don't know if it's me, but the way she's speaking, it's giving she's fake. I don't know if it's just me, but I'm I'm kind of getting a fake reading. I'm kind of getting a fake read off of her i don't know what it is about her or the way she acts or something but it's just giving me fake okay so let's do the kendra cam i think they've been waiting on this oh my goodness okay um let's see let's see let's see let's see all right they look good thank you okay you got listen pretty face nice body Okay, girl. I love you so much. I've been wanting to come on here. <laughs> girl, you know you cute. Stop it. I'm quite sure I'm not the first person to ever tell you that. <laughs> All right. Um, no, you look good. Okay, so when was your last relationship? A year ago. A year ago. Um, you don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask. When's the last time you was intimate with someone? Six months ago. Six months ago. Let me ask you a question. I know you said not saying this is going to be the case, but if a man made less than 100K, could he date you or no? No. No. Exactly what I just said. She's putting money over what she really needs in a relationship. So basically that whole I'm, I'm a personality type of girl was bullshit. Ma'am, what you need to do is you need to focus on finding somebody that has a personality and build with him instead of trying to get with a man that's already got $100,000. That'll be your best bet. And you're, young, and you're a year younger than me, so I'm going to go easy on you just a little bit. You're at a point in time where, matter of fact, you're at a point in a city in a time where men do not really give a damn about your looks. You're in a city that really don't give a fuck about looks. Y'all, they got some of the most beautiful women out there in Miami. And you're attractive. But the thing about it is, you are trying to find somebody that's going to take you serious. You just basically proved to everybody that's going to review this video that you're just in it for the money. 
You're not in it for the man and his personality. You don't give a damn what the man's personality is like. And you saying that you that they had emotional intelligence. I concur this. You probably got with the man and you tried to basically control him with this whole feminine acting act that you have going on. Which is which is fairly attractive. But the thing is probably saw through that shit or you probably weren't a priority to him and he had other things to do. So he kicked you to the side or you left voluntarily. That we don't know. But the thing about it is this. You're sitting on here talking about that you want this from a man, but you want him to make this amount of money. You have to you have to build with somebody in order to in order to get that. He's not gonna just come in and make it a hundred thousand dollars. And see a pretty 24-year-old woman and be like, oh, I'm going to give her all my, all, my, all my attention and my emotional intelligence because she's this. You have to prove to that man. And these guys that you're dating, you're not proving it to them. You weren't with them, in the, you weren't with them when they was fighting for it. And you, are, and you get thrown to the side. So don't be mad when somebody throws you to the side because you're looking for money that the man makes and that's a primary requirement that's a primary requirement when you said that you were a why well, emotional intelligence type of girl man get the fuck out of here that bullshit so if he made less than that he shouldn't apply and, and that's not due to anything i don't want people to take that the wrong way i just feel like i make that as a woman um and sometimes more so i feel like i just want you to be like as equal as me if that makes sense okay and um it's not it's not like in a, a bad way or anything. Okay. Are you are you home right now? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. So we got that clarity. Um three flaws you have to work on. Ooh. I would say my attitude at times. Um my patience at times. Attitude and patience. So you basically just proved my point without me even really doing anything or saying anything. You putting on this act and I knew I was getting a fake vibe from her. Personality and attitude. Hmm. And I would say being more vulnerable a little bit. Okay. Um, and why would a guy be lucky to be with you, Marie? Um, because I will literally love you so much. Man, fuck that love shit. I will literally love you. That don't mean a damn thing. Um, I bring a lot to the table as a woman. Um. Like what? We gonna stop, we gonna stop allowing these women just to come on here and saying that they bring a lot to the table without actually saying what they bring to the table. Me, I bring financial stability. I bring a car. I bring my ambition. You, you're probably just bringing a beautiful face. I'm beautiful. I'm intelligent. I can provide you with support emotionally. Um, I'm if you can do that, you wouldn't be on Kendra G's show. And wait a minute, what'd she say? I'm intelligent. I can provide you with support emotionally. Yeah. If you could provide that, if you could provide that, those men would have kept you. So basically, you just defeated your own argument because you're on this show. Hmm. Um, I'm very aware. You're happy, whatever, travel the world, and just live life, you know? Okay. What's your ethnicity, if you don't mind me asking? Puerto Rican and Black. Puerto Rican and Black. Okay. Now, do you want kids yourself one day? Yes, after marriage. After marriage. Okay. What is the age range you want to date? Um, I would say anywhere to, like... 40. Oh, what's that? Your age to 40? Yeah. Your age to 40. Should he be in Miami? 
Uh, he can be anywhere. He can be anywhere. All right, so listen, we got Marie, and why do you think you're single? Um, uh, just because of the, the, like, the boundary thing, the emotional intelligence thing, like, I'm just going to stand on that. It's not because of the emotional intelligence thing. It's because you're not a person that really, that really takes into consideration of what people actually really go through in life. You're basing everything upon money. You don't really have any. You're saying you ha you don't really have any emotional intelligence. You're just somebody that just wants to be there in the Miami scene with a guy that has a lot of money. That's the only thing you're looking for. You're not looking for somebody that's that's a good person. I mean, oh well. Um, and I just feel like my feelings matter, and I've been, you know, de dealing with guys, and they feel like my feelings don't matter, or they're not really emotionally intelligent, and I'm just, like, I've caught it quits, and we can go our separate way, so that's why I'm single, and when I find that, hopefully, God willing, I won't be. <laughs> you know, it's sad, because they say all this shit, and they... They said, like she said, she dealt with guys that didn't really put her, her feelings into consideration. And now, she's looking for a sucker to come in and take care of her. Yeah. This woman's going to be hell on wheels when you get rid of her. The little, little pretty nice act that she putting on, it's fake. All right. She won't be. Let's do it. We got Marie, Miami, 24, Capricorn. Works in real estate, you can have no. Yeah, so, mm -mm. Whatever, whoever she gets with is going to be, she's going to be hell on wheels. And the thing is, I'm praying for the guy that actually, the poor dumb bastard that gets with this woman. Because he's going to have a problem. Because this woman, this woman is going to be everything in the handbasket. But anyways, guys, like, share, subscribe, channel, support the podcast, and support with a comment. I'll see you guys on the flip side. I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.